Hi Gemini, this is a general love reading for March 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs and because it is going to be general, it might not resonate for all of you so you might want to check out one of your other signs if that's the case or one of your person's other signs or you can get a personal reading to get more specific information for your situation. All right, also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. And let's see what is going on with Gemini in March. The first half of March, 2021. All right, we have mute and we have patience. Hmm. Yeah, I know, that's annoying. <laughs> that's really annoying. Um, with the patience, feeling like you have to be patient or learning patience, but it feels like um, there might have been a halt in communication for some of you, either that or somebody is just holding back how they truly feel, not speaking how they feel to you. And you might have found yourself in this position where you just feel like you've been very, very patient, all right? Or it could be the other way around. So let's get into it and see. for the first half of March. All right, so let's see. For you, we have the Ten of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Two of Wands. All right, interesting combination here. I feel like there's been something that has happened that has hurt you a lot. You feel like there has been an ending, so I do feel like there has been some kind of a separation possibly here or just something that hurt you a lot and it feels like this person is not really um, speaking to you right now a lot about whatever it is that has happened. All right, this is somebody that you do hold a lot of love for. I feel like this is somebody that you have very strong feelings for. And it's like, I mean, with the two of wands, I feel like, yeah, you're, you're, you you feel like you're, like something is left hanging almost, like, like there hasn't been closure and you're still waiting on something, all right, from this person and that's where this patience kicks in. Let's see for them. We have the three of cups, we have the seven of pentacles and the three of swords. Ooh. What is going on here? This, uh, okay, so it could be that for some of them, um, there may have been somebody else involved. There may have been a third party here, or it could have just been that this person really wanted to kind of socialize and did uh, maybe interact with other things outside of the connection. However, I do feel that they're feeling, um, they're feeling pain for this. You might not be aware of it because of the mute card, but I feel like they're feeling they're feeling pain at the moment. They're feeling heartbroken. And there's something that they want to do. I feel like they're thinking about how they can fix this with you. We'll get more details when we clarify, but let me just see the what is coming up in the potential future here. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, and the Six of Cups. All right, so yeah, this, this could definitely talk about a reconciliation here. Somebody is manifesting a coming back together in, in a more in a more stable way um, but let's clarify and see all right let me clarify the ten of swords It doesn't necessarily have to be that there was um, somebody else here involved. All right, um, we'll see when we clarify. We have justice. Let me get one more. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, so it could be that you feel like whatever this is that happened this ending, this pain that you're that you're feeling, um, you're feeling like it was something that was very unfair.
towards you. It could be something that you're also, uh, uh, it's left you feeling confused, not really understanding what it is that has happened. But what I'm getting here with justice, it's like the message for you here is that for whatever reason, all right, there may have been a higher purpose for this, um, either for you to be able to find something out about yourself, to find something out about this person. But it, there's something about the situation and about this ending that is actually putting you on a path of really finding your own balance from within and sorting out possible um, either confusions within yourself or just really being able to um, examine other alternatives and other possibilities. Not necessarily other people or other relationships. I'm not getting that. It's interesting the way it's coming through. Just other other things in your life possibly. Like this might actually put you on a path to sort diff other paths out and other things out in, in your life. It's almost as if it's giving you that opportunity in some way to do other things. Um, kind of like opening other doors. That's how it's coming through. Let me see the Ace of Cups. All right, we have the Fool and we have the King of Wands. All right, so some of you may may have been dealing with a fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, possibly Sagittarius, but I'm mostly getting Aries and Leo. It doesn't have to be, but could resonate for some of you. Again, I feel like there was you hold a lot of love for this person still you still do and i feel like you would still be willing to take a risk um with this person and actually get involved with them again i again i don't know though what it is that they have done but this is somebody that you feel very very passionately um towards and i do feel actually the way this is coming through and showing up i do feel that they feel the same way about you um let me see the two of wands, but I feel like they still have you. There's, I, I still feel like they're not taking much action because that's why you are waiting here. We have the moon. Okay, so yeah, you you're not really sure of what's going what's going on here. Again, I'm I'm picking up on like a lot of con confusion, or if it's not confusion, it's just being in the dark about what is really going on with this person or what it is that they're doing at the moment. And it could also be because they're not really talking to you much or expressing much of this to you. All right, so I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting to discover certain things, but you could also be waiting to see if this person is going to move in your, in your direction. Um, Let's see what's going on with them. Let's see this three of cups. All right, we have the queen of pentacles and we have the six of swords. All right, I do have one kind of popping out. It's the ace of swords. Um, so you want to take that into account as well. But mostly I'm focusing on this Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like for a lot of them, there there is that there is somebody else involved. Um, whoever this person is, whatever it is that came in between the two of you, and it doesn't even have to be a person, all right? This could even be a, a situation, but I'm seeing it as being something outside of your connection, coming into the connection here, okay? Um, whoever or whatever that is, I see them moving away from that. Almost like, you know, this was something that they entertained for a while or maybe they have been for a long while, I don't know, but they're in this energy of leaving that behind. I don't know if they've done that yet, but I feel like they're in that they're in that energy of at least wanting to move away from that other situation. Let's see the 
seven of pentacles. Ooh. All right, so we got quite a bit here. We have the Queen of Cups. The Ten of Pentacles showing up again for the second time. The Six of Cups showing up again for the second time. And the Five of Cups. Okay, wow. This, this person is really regretting. They're having um, a lot of deep emotions here. These emotions are concerning you. This person wants a reconciliation. Um, I don't really see them taking action though, not with the Seven of Pentacles because that is a slower moving energy. I feel like they're just, they're thinking a lot about how they can clean up the mess, all right? That's how the Seven of Pentacles is coming through. They, this person does hold a lot of love for you, all right? They do want this Ten of Pentacles, which is a commitment, a faithful one. Um, with you, they want a reconciliation. It's a Six of Cups. I mean, both of these cards show up twice, all right? In the future, with the Magician being right smack in the middle, um, that being manifested, and the Magician also being right under that Seven of Pentacles where they are trying to clean up, <laughs> you know, this mess. That's what they're manifesting. Um, Yeah, I mean, it's it's a very simple message. It's a very simple message here, okay? It, I know it's a very classic one, but it's this is just how it's coming through. It's very, very um, simple, actually. You know, there was something that came in between the two of you. This person wants to move away from that. They're feeling a lot of guilt. Now, this guilt is most likely what I'm getting here is related to you, okay? Even if whatever this other situation is, let's just say it's a long-term, um, I don't know, relationship and you were, you know, the third party actually, okay? Because that could be the case for some of you. Um, if that was the case, I do feel like, I still feel like, you know, this person might feel that guilt when it comes to that connection, if that connection was first, all right? Um, otherwise, they're feeling this towards you, big time. And I know, I, because when I get when I get messages like this, I oftentimes get comments where people say, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Everybody's situation is different. And maybe it wasn't cheating. Maybe there was a breakup first, and then this person went, um, got involved in another relationship. Okay, so we can't make that judgment. We can't make a judgment regardless if we don't know somebody's specific situation. Okay, so just wanted to make sure that I got that out there. Um, what I am seeing here, all right, and this might not even resonate for all of you. If it's not your reading, that's cool. But if this is resonating with you, this person holds a lot of love for you, all right? They see you as that Queen of Cups. You hold a lot of love for them. There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of love here. I don't know what it is that happened. That would be past energy that I'm not looking into in this reading. But this person wants a reconciliation big time and is feeling a lot of regret and a lot of guilt and a lot of sorrow and grief for whatever it is that has happened here. All right, and that is just being more confirmed here with that Three of Swords, so let me clarify that. Ooh, the Tower. The Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, no joke. This person is going through a huge crisis right now, all right, with that tower. Um, something big is happening. Something big is happening. They are very brokenhearted um, about this fallout with you. And because of that, I mean, it's like they're going through, like, a very dark night of the soul here. They're working towards coming back in. They're putting effort into how they can, you know, have this new beginning or have this, you know, new way of approaching the situation. I feel like they really want to approach you in a, in a different way and in a way where it requires a lot of cleaning up and a lot of, um, I feel like it, it's, there's going to be a lot of planning behind it. All right, because they might have a lot that they need to clean up here with, depending on what this other situation was. All right, I don't feel like it's one of those situations where, you know, okay, somebody just cheated, um, 
was unfaithful and you know that's it okay let me come back i don't i'm not getting that i feel like this is something a lot more complicated and a lot deeper it didn't happen i'm not getting that it happened in that way so whatever it is that happened it requires a lot of cleaning up and it requires a lot of effort and it's something big So let's actually see this future energy. Let me clarify the magician. I mean, I'm bypassing that ten of pentacles just because it's like, we'll see. We might clarify it. All right, so we have the eight of swords and we have the knight of wands. Yeah, somebody's trying to manifest, um, I feel they're trying to manifest physical movement away from something that either caused them a lot of fear or something that they feel like they have been bound to in some way. It could even be their own thoughts, their own way of overthinking. Um, maybe this was a long-term commitment that they felt stuck in. But whatever it is that, that has been causing them fear or stuckness, I feel like they're like physically moving away from that. All right, in the future here. That's what they're manifesting. That's what they're working towards. That's what this this cleaning up is. To move away from whatever it is that is keeping them stuck in fear. And it could even be for some of you the fear of them approaching you. Let me see the six of cups. We got death and we got the three of cups. Wow. All right. So I feel like this is just like an overall um, like potential. All right. In which things are moving. Where th th this talks about a reconciliation, as I said, all right, with the six of cups. Which that reconciliation is also coming with the ending of that Three of Cups, which is whatever was that third energy or situation that came between the two of you or that was serving as a barrier, all right, for this connection. There's going to be a major, a major shift there, a major transformation. So I do feel like it is um, something that is ending, something that is closing out, like they're in that process. So yeah, um, for a lot of them, as I said, it could be that it was something like this Ten of Pentacles, that it was a very um, long-term stable commitment for some of them. Um, you, you would know, all right? So yeah, Gemini. Um, I feel like this reading was more about them rather than you. That's okay. I feel like the message for you here, you know, is to just really stay focused on your own path. All right. Figure out what are the lessons in all of this for you, because that is what is going to help to put you on your, on your right path. All right. And to figure things out. Um, sometimes it's okay to not know certain things. All right. That's why we have the moon here. Although, I mean, it's pretty clear where this is, where this is heading, but you know, sometimes it's not knowing the when and the how, right? And that's where patience comes in. All right. So if this resonated, let's see the final message for Gemini. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. All right. And we have discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Yeah, I feel like this is about discovering truths about yourself. It's what I was saying in the beginning. It's what I was saying in the beginning. So yeah, take that as it makes sense for you. And thank you so much for watching. Much love.